taking a live look right now from Southeast Community College off to the east and a beautiful shot this morning. The sun rising. You can see we've got a few clouds around, also some low level moisture just hanging above the clouds. If you're out driving this morning, you may have noticed some under street lights some of that moisture. I think if you're out driving it, you're probably not going to notice a whole lot except for maybe uh, just a little drop or two of moisture showing up on your windshield. So you may have to turn the windshield wiper on. Take you up to a higher view from a couple hundred feet above the ground uh, from on top of our tower cam looking to the north. You can still see a little of that moisture, but it's starting to lift and skies are quickly clearing in the Lincoln area. Temperature wise, we're sitting in the upper 60s this morning, just below 70 degrees. Further south, more clouds at 66 in Beatrice and 66 in Hebron, where skies have cleared at 61 degrees right now in Columbus. You can see this well in the satellite imagery. We've had clouds for, for much of the morning along and south of I-80. Those are beginning to dissipate. We're going to see a lot of sunshine as we go through the morning hours. More clouds beginning to move into the area, though, later on this afternoon. So expect to see clouds on the increase. Uh, probably after about 2 o'clock this afternoon, we'll start to see that starting to happen. Otherwise, temperature-wise, we'll be getting up into the upper 70s this afternoon. 87 for high in Lincoln, 87 in Beatrice, and 86 degrees in Seward. Up to 86 in Grand Island and 85 degrees in Hastings. Winds not too much of an issue today. North shifting around to the west eventually to 3 to 8 miles per hour. Later this evening, a second cold front will start to approach and ahead of it, showers and thunderstorms will begin to develop. There could be a couple strong thunderstorms out to the central and southwestern part of the state, similar to what we saw last evening. But as we go into the evening, you'll notice Stormcast bringing some showers and thunderstorms down to the southeast, perhaps towards York and out towards Hastings by 9 o'clock. I think in Lincoln, we're probably talking after 9 o'clock if we were to see some showers and thunderstorms. But you'll notice Stormcast really starts to spread these out and make them very scattered overnight. So consider yourself lucky if you get some rain. Now the one thing you may not like is we may get some very heavy downpours in a short period of time. So if you get caught underneath a thunderstorm, uh, the rain rate may be pretty high. Otherwise, temperatures for the rest of tomorrow not looking too bad either. We'll see temperatures back into the 80s, and tonight we'll see your temperatures back in the mid-60s. Now there could be a few morning, early morning showers. We're probably talking before daybreak. After that, we'll see mostly cloudy skies for tomorrow. Temperatures a little cooler, 84 degrees. Cooler yet for Friday as high pressure begins to move in, 82. We'll keep 80s around through the weekend with a chance for some morning showers on Sunday. Then for August 1st, temperatures start to rebound. It's going to feel like August for sure, at least the beginning of August, as temperatures get back in the low 90s for Monday, upper 90s for Tuesday, and near 100 degrees Wednesday afternoon. It will be windy, factor in the humidity, and it can feel like 105, maybe as high as 110 degrees by middle of next week. 